Well, happening today, it's getting hard to avoid it. Bianca, fall festivities are coming back, and that means frightful festivities as well. Yeah, you know, she brought me a little pumpkin today, said, get in the spirit. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, you know what? It's only, it's like less than it's 15 coming. days till Christmas, it's actually. Oh, so. oh, well, we, I know. Well, you're really jumping. Okay, well, you anyways, to fall. But anyways, let's okay. get to it. Tonight is Bush Gardens, Williamsburg's first night of Hallow Scream. Uh, so, tune on your side. Brett Hall is live there to tell us about as well as those safety precautions being taken following incidents that happened last year. Yeah, we will talk about those. No Christmas yet. Come on, let's go to Hollow Scream or Nevermore. That's the house we're in right now. Very nice architecture. You might see my little buddy Poe up there, the Ravens, opening up their season this weekend. But let's, we're not talking about football. I'm sorry. We're, we're going to talk about the theming of Hollow Screams in a brand new house with uh, Matthew Edwards. He is the guy here at Hollow Screams at Bush Gardens that makes all of this happen each and every year. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, tell us about where we are right now. Right now, we are inside the Nevermore Chapter 2 house. So, this is a sequel to our Nevermore house from last year. It is inspired by the works of Edgar Allan Poe. We are Edgar Allan Poe fans here, so we couldn't get enough, decided to make a sequel where we uh, sort of explore perhaps the, uh, the home that Edgar Allan Poe grew up in and what inspired him to write some of the stories that he wrote. Yeah, and now this is going, this is one of the new haunted houses this year, right? Correct. We have five new haunted houses, Nevermore Chapter, or I'm sorry, we have five houses. Three of them are brand new. Uh, Nevermore Chapter 2 is one of them, Inferno over in the Pompeii building, as well as Death Water Bayou in the Festa section of the park. Now, the, the Hollow Screams runs every Friday, Saturday night, and so select other nights as well, yeah. Absolutely. But it's uh, through Halloween, and one thing, you, you, want, you said it's, it is scary. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. So uh, the Hollow Scream event is intended for scares. After 6 o'clock, it's kind of anything goes on the pathways. We have uh, roaming uh, monster characters that you will stumble upon. They are not advertised. You don't know where they're going to be. We have dedicated territories on the villages. Uh, we have the five houses. So you don't know where you might get a scare. It is definitely geared for adults, so do be aware of that. Yeah, it's a little lighter in here right now than it's going to be <laughs> later, right? Yeah. Anyway, so again, there's tickets still available on Bush Gardens website starting at 6 o'clock, running through October 31st. We'll have more on those safety precautions we're talking about in the next hour. Asia, Bianca? Brett, I actually love going to Bush Gardens for that. What's you, I mean, do, are you a scary type person? Do you like to go to those types of things? Or are you avoiding them at all costs? It depends who you ask on if I'm a scary person, but uh, <laughs> uh, I would come. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Brett.